Big news when it comes to guns today. The Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals has upheld the constitutionality of a pair of California laws which ban gun shows at county fairs. This overturning a lower court ruling last year that the legislation violated the rights of sellers and would-be gun buyers. Dave Min represents Irvine in the California State Senate. He authored that statewide gun show ban and joins us live now with more. Uh, Senator, I'm sure you're happy about this, but your, your reaction to the ruling. Uh, it, it's, it's a big day for anyone in California who cares about gun violence prevention. This is uh, just common sense regulation. And I have to say, I'm not surprised at the ruling because, I, I, as I said, when the circuit court decision came out last year, uh, it was very poorly reasoned. It was issued by a brand new Trump appointed judge and uh, clearly didn't uh, stand up to the, any kind of scrutiny. Uh, but that being said, it, it is exciting to have uh, that decision actually vacated and reversed. Uh, this is a great day for uh, Californians who care about public safety. So what is the real world impact on this? Does this go into effect right away? Are you worried that the Supreme Court may overturn this? Uh, so my understanding is that it could be appealed to the Supreme Court. Uh, if that happens, then I think the Ninth Circuit will decide whether or not they will lift the preliminary injunction or keep it in place during the time uh, until it gets heard by the Supreme Court. Uh, my hope is that they will vacate the preliminary injunction, allow the bill to take effect until the Supreme Court decides what to do with it, if it's appealed, uh, but we'll stay tuned. And why was county fair so important for you to target? Uh, look, it, this came down to actually when I was running for the state Senate seat I now hold. My kids were very young at the time, and we did a fun run the day after the El Paso shootings and the Dayton shootings. Uh, and uh, as we crossed the finish line with my, I think, then three-year-old who was in a stroller, a running stroller, we were inundated with um, flyers for the upcoming gun show. Now, when I was growing up, uh, the county fairgrounds were meant to be for family-friendly affairs. Uh, you know, jamborees, uh, you know, 4 H festivals, things like that. Uh, so to see gun shows there, and, and they're very extremist. Uh, when I was at a gun show uh, two years ago, I, I saw targets with Gavin Newsom and Joe Biden on them. Uh, very extreme elements, um, a lot of uh, foul language uh, printed out there. Uh, I just decided that this is not something that should be on our county fairgrounds. And when I looked into it, I didn't see any good justification for it. Uh, at the same time, we know that even though California has the most regulations on gun shows, uh, there are a ton of guns that get illegally procured at these things, uh, as the DOJ has found a lot in recent uh, months as they've investigated some of the gun shows around the state. Uh, so this would seem like a no-brainer. Uh, I'm glad that the Ninth Circuit uh, upheld this legislation, and uh, I think it'll keep our families safer. Uh, so that's, of course, about keeping families safer. Also, public safety uh, is front and center for a lot of folks. Uh, today, a big day in California politics. There's a lot of people that want to reform Prop 47. And there is an mm -hmm. effort by some Democrats and a lot of Republicans across the state to put a ballot proposition on the November ballot to reform Prop 47. Just today, we learned from the Secretary of State that that has qualified. That is happening at the very same time that there's this group of bills, including one of a couple of your bills, that are moving forward. Uh, forward in terms of the legislature. Do you support this proposition uh, to reform Prop 47? And if not, why not? I'll have to take a closer look at it. I think there's a sense that right now there is um, uh, retail theft is outrageously high in the state, that you have gangs, marauding gangs that are uh, very strategic in their tactics. And that $950 limit that Prop 47 creates may be one of the things that's driving them. Uh, I know that I was asked uh, to look closely at how I asked uh, how we could try to crack down on retail theft. And so one of the bills that I'm authoring is a bill that would crack down and provide aggravated sentencing for people who set fires in retail theft. Uh, a common tactic these days is someone will set a fire to distract the store employees while the rest of their gang is stealing hundreds of thousands of dollars or, or thousands of dollars worth of merchandise. That fire it can endanger customers and employees. It can destroy parts of the store, lots of merchandise. Uh, this is an outrageous tactic that they engage in. So my bill is part of a bill, package of, I think, 14 bills overall called the Safer California Package that we're putting together to try to address um, this retail theft problem, as well as fentanyl and other issues we're facing. And I guess I'll just add one thing. We want to be careful. Obviously, we want to crack down on, on theft, 
Uh, I've been a strong advocate for public safety. I'm actually endorsed by uh, a lot of police unions in my race for Congress right now because of that record. Uh, but what I'll say is this, uh, we also don't want the pendulum to swing all the way yeah. too far. Uh, we've made that mistake before, so I think we have to be commonsensical on how we approach this problem. So the governor, the speaker of the assembly, the Senate majority leader all say they don't like this Prop 47 reform. They don't think it's necessary, but you just said mm -hmm. you're potentially open to it. I have to take a closer look at the language, honestly. But, uh, you know, and it just qualified today. And I've been pretty busy with the budget and, and the campaign yeah. I mentioned, so I will, I will try to find some time to read that language. Okay. State Senator Dave Min, when you do, let us know what you think. Uh, in the meantime, congrats on a, a big day for you. Hey, thank you, Alex. Have a great one. All right.